We're going over the latest Detroit Lions news and rumors for you folks today. We're going to go over these articles, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. And obviously, a lot of this is going to be portrayed to the NFL draft. Why? Because that's on Thursday. So this is going to be bombarded of draft talk from this channel, my channel, and every other uh, content creator that does the Detroit Lions is predominantly going to be the same here. So we're going to go over... Brad Holmes ruining the draft. It's funny. It's not legit. Um, a ranking the NFL's new jerseys. Yes, Detroit Lions connections with teams whom they could trade up with with the NFL draft. And NFL insider believes in Jared Goff. A lot. We're going to talk about that. And ranking the top 10 players the Lions could get in the NFL draft. Without further ado, let's begin. Before we get, though, to the main part of this video, go to LionsNationNight.com for the latest and greatest gear. Cups, hats, shirts, spellicalavas. Get ready for the draft on Thursday. Get that stuff. It's epic. It will be sent to you by Herm, and it is awesome. It is definitely awesome. Let's go ahead and get into this first article here, a funny way that the Detroit Lions ruined the Detroit Lions draft excitement. And... You can read it yourself here on, on what you think, but I'm, I'm just going to give my thoughts that, yes, he's absolutely ruined the draft for us Lions fans because we don't know what he's going to do. But guess what? That is a good thing, right? You don't want uh, – if we know what the Lions are going to do, folks, then guess what? I, every other NFL team is going to know what we're going to do. They're not stupid. Now, that that's what the case with Bob Quinn and, you know, especially Matt Patricia – it was really easy to gauge what they're going to do in the NFL draft. It really was. I, I, I've been, I've done mock drafts with those guys, and I, I would, you would do good fast. You get it right because you, you really know. When it comes to Brad Holmes, you don't know what he's going to do, but I think that's actually exciting. Like, I don't want to know what the Lions are going to do. Are they going to trade up? Are they going to trade down? Are they going to stay there? Are they going to take a player you expect? Are they going to take an unexpected player? I think that's exciting. Uh, for content creating, Brad Holmes is very difficult because you don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> so you're, you're trying to get that information out of the people, but since you don't know, it's literally just hearsay or just thoughts, and that's just the way that it is. So, yeah, he did ruin it, but it's a good thing that he ruined it. Ranking the Lions jerseys, well, the, the new jerseys, and there's three Broncos, Jets, Lions, and um, easily this is... The, the number one ranking is, is hands down the easiest, right? We already know it's going to be the Detroit Lions, right? So the Texans have yet to do it yet, but uh, they got the Denver Broncos as number three. I'm I'm not a big fan of Denver Broncos uniforms. It doesn't really matter what they do. I'm not a big fan. I guess the white helmet is the probably the best with the blue, but I got to keep it 100. I think like, they're kind of ugly uniform. The Jets, though is by far the ugliest uniform in the National Football League. They, didn't even, they they made a change, and it literally was the same. There was no significant change. There are uniforms ugly, so I'd probably put this one as number three. Um, and then obviously you got the Detroit Lions rank one. Is we, got, we got to kill a uniform, man. You complain about our uniform, and we all can have little gripes here and there. But if you could put our uniform against the other teams in the NFL... Lions, I think their alternate uniform, the, the black and the blue helmet and everything together, I think it's the best uniform in football. And just their normal colors, the the white and the blue, and, you know, they switch things up a little bit. But that's a fire uniform. It really is. And so, yeah, we can complain about the Lions uniforms, but if we look at other teams, they got some ugly uniforms. The Jets is ugly. It's just... <sighs> Yeah, it's, it's an ugly one. I like Atlanta Falcons uniforms. There's, there's some good uniforms out there in the NFL. Um, but, yeah, Lions are lines pretty good right there. Lions got two connections, two teams to connect it for NFL Day trade, and this is just Pride Detroit. Go ahead and, and, and read it there, talking about the teams that whom the Lions could look to trade with. Obviously, you're talking about the Denver Broncos and Peyton Manning and – we go with the L.A. here. And, and, yes, it's two teams that we do have connections to in the draft. It's just going over it. But I'm going to keep it real with you. The Lions legitimately could trade with any team. It seems like Brad Holmes is an easygoing GM. He's traded with the Green Bay Packers, 
the Minnesota Vikings, obviously the Rams. We've done a lot of trades. Uh, Trinity Benson even three years ago, and that didn't have Peyton Manning. So, or not Peyton Manning, they didn't have Sean Payton. So the Lions will look to trade with anybody. So, yes, you definitely can can take a, a look at the two biggest teams. But just because those teams may not be, say, we want to trade a 21 or we want to trade a 15 or what, it doesn't really matter. The Lions can trade with any team. Brad Holmes is not fugal. Now, Bob Quinn was different. It seemed like he was just getting the Patriots, right? You'd get Patriot guys. you just deal with Patriots. Brad Holmes is quite different. He'll go in any direction. Amik Robertson was a Raider. Zeitler was a Raven. So, I mean, it. in the trades, we've traded with our own team. So, they look at talent everywhere, not just with familiar teams. Maybe the big trade were the Rams. That's You were familiar with Jared Goff. So, that's a little bit different. But Brad Holmes does his own thing. Let me know in the comment section right now, do you want the Detroit Lions to trade up in the NFL draft? Let me know. Why for yes and for no. NFL Insider reveals a prediction for the Lions' Jared Goff. Tom Brady talked about Josh Allen would be the next quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Bleach Report. Jordan Schultz disagrees. He thinks it's going to be Jared Goff is the next man to win a Super Bowl who has not won a Super Bowl. So it's a bold prediction there. Is it really that bold? I don't think so. I think if you're picking the Lions to win a Super Bowl, it, say you're not a Lions fan, you're just an NFL fan, or you like a, another team, if you're looking to outside looking in, is that bold? I don't think so. Kansas City won the Super Bowl and I, I, last year, and I assume it's probably going to be the same teams in the AFC, right? Kansas City, the Ravens, that's going to be in there. Maybe the Bills, I think they take a big step back. The Miami Dolphins. But we beat Kansas City last year. I think this team's going to be better this year. So if the Lions were facing the AFC in a Super Bowl, I think the Lions could take on Kansas City. I think they can match up really good with Miami. Maybe a little bit difficult if Baltimore gets to a Super Bowl, but Lamar Jackson's got to win to get to a Super Bowl. He just doesn't win in the playoffs that much. So I think, okay, if you're just looking from that perspective, yeah, the Lions probably have an edge of the AFC. You look at the NFC, 49ers is the main competitor. I think it's Detroit, San Francisco, and then everybody else. I think think San Francisco, Detroit is just, it's much improved over the Dallas Cowboys. They are. Dallas didn't do anything. They're having a little bit dysfunction. Philadelphia Eagles, they had a really bad... They played. They started out good, and then they went down bad. They really did. And I like Atlanta Falcons this year, but do I have them to be a Super Bowl threat to the Lions right now? Probably not a playoff team. So I'm going to go with Detroit. Yeah, potentially to win the Super Bowl. So I, I like it. I like Schultz. He's actually using his brain here. The Lions are a good team, so I don't know if it's bold, but it's nice to see. It really is really nice to see that the Lions are now getting the recognition that they deserve. They have built this team the correct way. They took it down the studs, and this filled with talent. This team is is all about winning a Super Bowl. They're not happy about just getting to the playoffs. They're not happy about just winning the NFC North. They are not. They want to win a Super Bowl, and I love that mentality. I don't remember the Lions ever having this mentality before, ever as a Lions fan. Now, maybe you're an older Lions fan who, who's who's seen a lot. I'm only thirty, about to be 39 here in a month. I've never seen anything like this, so yeah. Ranking the top 10 players the Lions could draft in round one, so pick 29. It's going to go through 10 being who they don't want the most, and one being who they would like. And this is by Christian Boer, so on All Lions Fan Nation. His 10th one here is Adani Mitchell. Yeah, wide receiver. I I would probably have it a little bit higher on this list. I've seen the list already. I would have him a little bit higher. I actually think if, if he was sitting there, that would be a, a solid pick. It really would be because he's that good. Still, I like defense. So you're, you're going to see defensive players on here. Trust me, 
I want defense first. But I would have him a little bit higher. I've seen the other offensive players. That's why. Zach Frazier, interior offensive line from West Virginia. I I absolutely could see a situation. I don't know if he would be the, the selection, though. I think they could probably go Jackson Powers Johnson. That could be an option there. More realistic. And he's going to be on the list. So I, I'm not upset with this being at nine because I know what it is. All right, eight, Darius Robinson. I absolutely have him much higher on this list. I think he's he should be up there as, as a top five player who I think the Lions should draft. Darius Robinson is a legit target, 110%. He is an absolute legit target. This is not a rumor. This is real. He, he could end up being a Detroit Lions. I'd have him a little bit higher. Brian Thomas, wide receiver. Yeah, I would have him a little bit lower on this list. He's a good wide receiver, though. He's a good wide receiver. It's same with the Donnie Mitchell. You got to have him a little bit higher on the list. But, look, we need defense. This would be a solid pick. Will he be there? I don't know. There could absolutely be a run on wide receivers, and there's going to be a run on offensive weapons for sure. I mean, literally, you could have seven wide receivers going round one. You could have a ton of tackles going round one. You're going to have a ton of quarterbacks, so we just don't know exactly where some of these offensive players are going to going to be available because there's going to be a lot of offensive heavy in this draft. Ennis Rackestraw, um, at 29, I would have him lower. I don't think he's a first-round talent, in my opinion. Second-round talent? I think if the, he was sitting at 61, that would be the where I go. I like the I like the player to like the position, just not at 29. I have other corners higher than him. So I would have this actually be lower. Even though he's a defensive player, I'd probably have this at 10. Let's continue on. Jackson Powers Johnson at 5. This is probably exactly where I would have him as well. I think there would be players I'd rather have in, in front of him, but at the same time, he could play center, he could play guard, and I think he's a dog, and this would be a great pick for Detroit. It would be. I would not be upset at all. If they, if they take Jackson Powers Johnson at 29, I'm not going to be upset. I know this offensive line is a strength. Let's make this offensive line a strength for many, many years, and we do got to start looking at this offensive line and starting to consider the future a little bit because of a Frank Ragnow and his injury and a Zeitler because he's older. So, yeah, I'd like this pick. I think it's perfect at five. Chop Robinson, I'd have him lower. Darius Robinson would be at this spot here. Um, I, I, I just want to see the production from him. He has, His production in college was not that great. Yes, he's athletic. Yes, he's got the perfect size. He's fast. you got to have production, though. So I would have him lower in this list. Johnny Newton, defensive line. Good spot here. I, I do like this pick, and I think we need to have that pass-rushing defensive tackle. I'm not going to be upset. I'm not upset at three. I'm not. Maybe be a little bit like you do, four or six, but this is a general good spot, good selection if they're to go this route. Graham Barton, interior offensive line. I would. I, I do like Graham Barton. I think he, he absolutely is a first-round talent, and they could pick him at that selection. He is that late first, early second. Not not gonna argue with it. Maybe just a little bit down. I, maybe I put Darius Robinson here, or I would put a corner here that I don't think that's that'll be available. That's probably the route I go. Let's go number one, and it's Kool Aid McKinstry. Yes, I can see it being number one. If you're sitting at twenty, if this is just the 29th pick, I could see why I'd be 21. If you're staying at 29, mine would probably be Darius Robinson or Kool-Aid McKinstry. If those two are gone, I'm looking at a Donnie Mitchell or Jackson Powers Johnson. If those guys are not available, maybe a defensive tackle, Jose Newton or something like that. But I'm not upset, Kool-Aid McKinstry. If you're trading up, Quinn Young Mitchell. That would be a good one, or Jared Verse. But let me know your thoughts about... What about this list? So who's your number one player you want the Lions to draft? Put the name in the comment section. Blow it up. I want to know your guys' thoughts on this. With that said, adios.